I'll start this video with an irony. Search engine optimization, as all of us know, is the process of trying to make your site rank high in Google search results. Well, not only Google, but basically any search engine. So we want our sites to rank high in the search results because we want our site to be more exposed so that we get more viewers earn more revenue and all that kind of stuff. But again, search engines indexing our website and showing our website in the search results can be destructive or dangerous. Which word should I use? If you're a regular watcher of my channel, then you probably already know what Dashlane is because I've been talking about it lately in my other videos as well. If you don't know what Dashlane is, here you go. Dashlane is a password managing tool using which you can save your passwords, credit card details, address information, etc. And you can save your time every time you want to enter these details on websites because Dashlane automatically fills them in for you. Dashlane stores all your information securely so that no one can access your data unless they enter the master password. Dashlane is free to use, but the premium version has got a lots of additional cool features like a VPN ability, which I use a lot to access <laughs> um, blocked websites and also of course to protect my identity online. There is also a dark web monitoring feature available on the premium version. Download Dashlane using the link given below and if you want to purchase the premium version, make sure you use the code Tech Raj to get additional 10% off on your purchase. So go check it out. So docs are basically some keywords that are used to filter out the search results so that you get to see only the information that you're intending to see if that information exists on the search engines index, obviously. For example, if you're Googling something like password of testwebsite.com, then you don't get any interesting results that you're expecting. Let me guess, you're, you want to know the password of testwebsite.com? So you're Googling it? Are you, are you dumb? Like how could you expect to get the password using a Google, Google search? I mean, Google is not some kind of hacking tool or whatever. Right, uh, let's see. So a search phrase like password of testwebsite.com or abracadabra, give me the password of testwebsite.com won't work. So we will make use of Google Docs and search for site colon testwebsite.com in URL wpconfig.php in text db underscore password in caps. Site in URL and in text are the docs here. The keyword site is used to tell Google to show the results that only belong to the site mentioned there. The keyword in URL is used to tell Google to only show the links that contain the mentioned string. And the keyword in text is used to tell Google to only show the pages that contain the, the text that is mentioned there, which in this case is db underscore password. Now by doing a search like this, you end up getting information like this. So basically, this is wpconfig.php file of this website. And this file contains the WordPress configuration details like the database name, password, etc, etc of that particular website. And wait, you can't get this kind of information of every website using Google Docs. So then why is Google showing such critical information about this website? Does Google hate this website, so it hacked the website and showing the critical information to everyone? Of course not, of course not. You see, everything on the web is saved in directories or directories, how do you spell it? Well, I don't know, let me spell it as directories. Any website contains many files that are not meant to be seen or accessed by anyone other than the website's admin. For example, if you're hosting a WordPress site, you will have a wp-config.php file, which contains the configuration details of the website, like the database password, etc, uh, etc. Et and this file needs to be there on the server in order for the WordPress site to function. So this file must be saved in a particular directory. And this directory must be protected in such a way that no one except the admin will be able to open or access the directory. Or let's say a website offers a sign up and a sign in feature to its users using which users can become the members of the website by creating their accounts. And let's say for some reason, the developer of the website decided to store the passwords of the users in a text file. I mean, literally in a text file and save that text file in a particular directory on the server, which is not really protected. 
So if the critical directories like these are not protected or the access is not restricted to public, that means anyone can access all the files inside these directories by just browsing through the website. Yeah, literally by just browsing through the website, by just going to the URL of that particular directory. So how does anyone know what these directories are? I mean, you can't just go to a particular directory on a website without actually knowing the path or the URL of that directory. You know what I mean? So this is exactly where the search engines help. When you create a website, you submit the URL of your website to Google, asking Google to start showing your website as well in the search results. Google then takes your website and crawls through it, which means it tries to collect information about all the directories that are publicly available on your website. The search engines collect this information and then add it to their index so that they can show these results when someone searches for it. So if you are careless enough to you know, not protect the critical directories of your website, Google or any other search engine crawls through these directories as well. And it obviously adds all these directories and all the information about these directories into its index as well. Because Google don't know that these are critical information because it's saved just like any other file on the website. So if someone uses docs to search for some specific critical files on your website, Google ends up showing up these directories to literally anyone who searches for it. So there are literally lots, I mean, tons of websites that are exposed due to Google docking. And this even includes many webcams around the world being disclosed to literally everyone on the internet. So that is how one can hack using Google Docs. I hope you got the idea. If you want to know more about Google Docs and more applications of it, then make sure you check out my blog post. I leave a link to it in the description below. I have recently started a blog and I'm expecting support from you guys. So go check it out and you can